Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the new filming equipment that I got for this year. And there is two products that I want to show you. One of which is pretty good. The other one I'm completely underwhelmed by, but we'll see how well it works. The first one I'm going to show you is the SpyPoint XL720 action camera. And this thing is supposed to film in 720. Here you see the picture on the back of it attached to a scope. It does come with a scope mount. There you go. And this was on clearance at Walmart for $50. The other thing that I'm going to show you, I ordered from Amazon and it was, I think a list price was $35 plus like $9 for shipping. But this is the Bowfinger camera mounting system for bows and it attaches where your stabilizer goes if you can see some of the pictures on there and this actually seems to be pretty good so we'll talk about both of these we'll start out with the spy point and I've got it attached to my crossbow here here it is and it actually it looks pretty sharp um, but it makes an already large crossbow just seem enormous with this thing on top of it. <laughs> uh, but maybe I can show you guys a little bit more of a close up here. I've used this a couple times, and so far it seems okay, although it says that it films in 720, and I'm filming this in 720 right now with my Sony action cam. And I can tell you, as you're going to see here shortly, what SpyPoint calls 720, most other people wouldn't call 720. It's going to be a night and day difference when I compare this to the camera that I'm filming with now, my Sony Action Cam. So, it comes with a few different accessories here, as you can see on the back. Maybe you can see that. Uh, but one of them it says here, the USB cable. Now, that was the first problem I ran into. This thing has a rechargeable battery. You have to plug it in with a USB cable to actually charge it up. And that's also one of the ways that you get your footage off of the camera and onto your computer, your laptop, whatever you're using. You have this little flap right here. And right there is where you plug it into. And guess what? It came with the wrong plug. I couldn't believe that. That plug that it came with does not fit this camera. It fits some of my other cameras. It fit my uh, Canon power shot here but it definitely didn't fit this one but luckily this camera fits the same cables and everything that my Sony action cam takes so I just have to share cables with it but that's pretty janky that it doesn't come with the right stuff <laughs> uh, so yeah that's probably one of the reasons why it was so cheap and on clearance alright I don't have very high expectations that it's going to hold up really well because even really good cameras, if they're exposed to any kind of recoil, a lot of times it'll just break them. You know, even something with very mild recoil like a 223 oftentimes will break pretty decent cameras just depending on the type of mount that you have. Now the mount that this comes with that attaches to the scope here does seem very solid. I'm pretty happy with that mounting system, but the, the quality of the camera itself, it's a little bit off. So, anyways, let's move on to the next thing here. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to show you guys is the Bowfinger camera mounting system for bows. There you go. Now this I ordered from Amazon and it was about $35 plus shipping and all that. I think I paid about $40 bucks in all. Uh, and it is made in the USA, so that's okay. And it is CNC machined billet aluminum. Here it is on my... SAS Siege compound bow. There you go. And you can see how your camera attaches right here, the same as your tripod. So if your camera can go on a tripod, it can go on this. See, it just screws into this little spot right there. This is not the camera that I'm planning on using with this, but just as an example, how this works and what it would look like with a camera on there. There we go. It's got a little wing nut and it attaches your camera just like so. So awesome. Now I'm probably going to use my 
Sony action cam that I'm filming with now to use on here uh, and I have it mounted pretty far back that way with just one finger I can reach out and start this thing recording which is going to be really really handy all right so let's go ahead and compare these two products the spy point XL 720w camera supposed to be filming in 720 and the bowfinger camera mounting system for bows using the Sony action cam that is also filming in 720 I'm going to tell you right now <laughs> what spy point calls 720 is not what Sony calls 720 uh, because I'm going to show this first and then I'll show the other and it's going to be like walking out of the fog right another thing I should mention is the volume on the spy point camera it does have sound but the volume is incredibly low I was actually speaking during the first clip that I was filming with this I said something along the lines of this is the first shots with the spy point 720w camera the target set up at 20 yards something like that but you can just barely hear it the only thing you can really hear very well is this thing going off because it's pretty loud and then with the Sony action cam you're gonna be able to hear all the background noise everything you'll hear it great uh, but anyways, you can compare and contrast and make your own decisions on whether or not you think it's going to be good or not. All right, so let's go ahead and check that out. Back to back. Here's the first test of the new camera on the crossbow. The Spy Point 720W. Target here is set up at 20 yards.
Alright, so these are the two new filming products that I'm going to be trying out for this season. I'll have all the old stuff that I normally have in addition to all these. And, you know, even though I'm pretty underwhelmed by the spy point camera so far, if I get some footage that I wouldn't have otherwise gotten, it'll all be worth it, I guess. And this uh, bow finger seems to be pretty well made. Maybe I'll actually get something and uh, be able to try it out. And it says right here on the packaging, be your own cameraman, bring home the video of the one you got or the one that got away. And the one that got away is probably more likely for me. But we'll see. Hopefully it all works out good for us this season. All right, guys, that's all the time that I have for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, thumbs up.